What's going on guys? It is Dave again. I'm back today doing another build for Matt. About a month ago, Matt came to me and said he wanted one of the new AMD processors. And if there's anyone out there that's been following the market, they know it is quite difficult to get one of the new chips. So Matt miraculously managed to score one and we are going to reuse his RTX 3080, the HD 120 fans, and the EVGA 750 watt power supply from his last build. And we are going to use the 5800X with an ASUS TUF X570 motherboard, a Samsung 980 Pro 1 terabyte NVMe, 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro 3200 megahertz DDR4, and a Corsair Elite Capilix 240 millimeter radiator all in the Corsair 4000D case. So the, the other build that he had, the Versa H18 build, is still gonna be used. Uh, I might post another video about what we did with that later on, uh, I'm not sure right now. But if you guys haven't, hit that like and subscribe button for me. It would really help me out with the YouTube algorithm. And with that said, let's dive in and let's build. Off the start, I got the Asus TUF X570 motherboard installed. Matt and I are well aware that there are better options out there in terms of motherboards, but Matt has had a good experience with Asus TUF boards, so he's going to keep using them. In Matt's last build, his storage was split between an NVMe drive and a normal SATA SSD drive. He threw that out the window because at the time of this recording, he only had a single 980 Pro 1 terabyte drive, but now runs two 1 terabyte 980 Pro drives. Basically everything but the 5800X was not obtainable and Matt was dead set on a 5000 series Ryzen processor, so the 5800X was the only option. I should probably own stock in Thermal Grizzly at this point since I use Cryonaut in every build on processors. Once the paste was on, I used isopropyl alcohol to remove the stock paste on the Corsair block and then got the two hook screws slightly on the block to make mounting easier. In my opinion, getting the top hook screw on first and then tightening it by a few threads and then getting the bottom screw hook on and tightening it by a few threads is the easiest way to mount the block. Once those are holding, use a screwdriver to tighten them down until it feels snug. Do not ever over tighten them since the mounting brackets are just cheap plastic and can break easily. Matt being the OCD person he is with his electronics, managed to keep his 3080 almost completely spotless for dust. So moving that into the new build, it was basically still brand new. Once the 3080 was in, I went ahead and installed the new Corsair Vengeance RGB program, and yes, Matt is definitely a Corsair show. I had happened to get an extra kit of this exact RAM for another build for someone who wanted 4 sticks but only ended up only using 2 because of the cost, so Matt got really lucky that I had happened to have this kit and had not returned it yet. Aside from putting the fans on the wrong way, the radiator fit up top without any issues. Once the radiator was in, I had Matt install the rest of the case fans. Luckily, Matt had not had his HD120 fans very long because they hardly had any dust on them, so reusing them to save some money was definitely the right way to go. In order to fit the Commander Pro in this case, Matt sacrificed a 2.5 inch drive bay. Definitely not the end of the world since Matt is running strictly on M.2 storage now, but that is something to keep in mind if you want to buy this case and use 2.5 inch drives. After unplugging a couple of the front panel wires from the motherboard, Matt and I got the EVGA power supply in and then did a crazy amount of wiring and at last we are done. I have to say that aside from forgetting to turn the fans on their radiator around until after I was done filming, this build turned out to be absolutely amazing. Without question, this case was easier to build in than the Thermaltek Versa H18 case by an easy tenfold. I am not much of a fan for unicorn puke lighting, but I have to admit that seeing this after putting all the parts together, it just looks absolutely fantastic. Matt is ecstatic with the build and who knows, maybe him and I will do an update video of both our builds sometime in the near future. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one.